ESPN 27 First News Network, home of the high school basketball starting five award and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Coming to you live from Austin Town Fitch High School, it is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Tonight, a pair of former Steel Valley Conference foes face off as the Austin Town Fitch Falcons play host to the Boardman Spartans. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Boardman comes into this one with a record of 17 and 4. The Spartans are red hot. Austin Town Fitch, meanwhile, has struggled this season, checking in with a record of 5 and 16. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for Austin Town Fitch in the backcourt, it's Smith, Bruff, Sheffield, Harrington, and Jackson. Bruff is battling an injured knee, so they'll do a ceremonial opening tip. At least we're told. And now he will substitute out, Will. That young man, Zach Bruff, and he will head to the bench on senior night. Of course, these two teams meeting for the second time. They met right before the new year. Boardman came away with the three-point victory, 53-50. to 50. Just underway here at the home of the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. This Boardman team has been very impressive. Fast start as Ryan puts it up and in. And John Ryan starts off the campaign. What you love to see is them attacking the basket early. Great, strong take. Falcons with their first possession. Ryan Sheffield dribbles up to the top of the key. Sheffield, they swing it around to Randy Smith, who's lightning quick. Smith firing three ball around, and it falls out. Spartans end up with it. It is Molesky racing it up the floor. Molesky hangs and is able to draw the contact and the foul. That foul, I believe, will be tagged to Randy Smith, the junior point guard. And you can see Molesky looking to attack early, put the pressure on Fitch, and those are two quality shots right from the get-go. And Molesky's going to get to the line to shoot two. On Tuesday night, Boardman came away with a two-point win over Perry. They had three players in double figures. One of those right there, Mike Molesky. He led the Spartans with 13 points. He'll try to put this one up and in. And he splits the pair of free throws. And it's 3-0 in favor of Boardman. And we're going to see Boardman with just a little pressure. They're trying to control the tempo, can try to control the pace. But you can see Smith does a great job of breaking that pressure and really didn't bother him. Dylan Beanie takes it to the rack and is able to draw the contact, and he will now step to the free throw line. Both teams looking to be aggressive, looking to attack and get off to a great start. And there's the take right to the baseline, and you can see the foul. Beanie absorbing the contact. Now the opportunity for two at the line. So Beanie puts the free throw up, and it rattles through. Beanie coming in, averaging in double figures, 11.2 points per contest. He's a 63% free throw shooter. Of course, Brian Beanie is the head coach of the Falcons. And this is really, for all intents and purposes, a rebuilding year for Fitch. All five starters graduated from a season ago, so they're rebuilding. But Coach Beanie has done a nice job with a young group. Off the dribble, Hanadin, Molesky into the corner, Ryan. Ryan, great feed underneath. Coach fights it up and in. And there's Coach with the footwork. We saw him the last game we did against Harding. Just very impressed with that type of footwork. And we're going to get a timeout here with an injury on the floor. Lawrence Harrington is the injured Austin Town Fitch Falcon. Here we'll get a look at it and see if he came down and, ooh, got rolled up on by. The 6'5 senior, Brandon Jackson. Jackson, a big body, and that can't feel good. Definitely can't feel good. You got Coach Birch right there in the timeout. And we were talking before the game started, and I was actually even talking to Coach Huda, our athletic director at Salem, uh, because he went to Springfield with, with uh, around Coach Birch. And uh, just really impressed with him that 
You know, they're 17 and four, and just what he's gone through, excellent job with this Boardman Spartan program. Really changed the culture to a Absolutely. winning culture. Jackson off the dribble, scoops it up and in. And there's some more footwork. These big fellas really know how to move. Jackson with the finish. Ryan feeds it into the corner. Off the dribble is Hainanen. Into the paint, off the glass. Molesky can't get it to drop in. Randy Smith with a rebound for Fitch, and he pushes it up the floor. It is 5-4 in favor of Boardman. Smith off the dribble. Reverses his tracks and now pulls it back into the hands of Emmanuel Dawkins. Dawkins facing up around a screen from Jackson. Dawkins, bounce pass into the corner. Triple try up, no good. And the rebound is fought for, ripped down by Dawkins. Dawkins, great strength, puts it up too strong. And the ball is out of bounds. It'll stay here with 5.35 to play here in quarter number one. Coach Birch not happy with the call. Thought the Fitch Falcon tipped it out. However, Fitch basketball. Ball is into Brandon Jackson, spinning. Good touch off the glass and in. Jackson, a big fella, using the left, using the window. Fitch takes the 6-5 lead. Back and forth we go, turnover. And we'll go back to the Fitch Falcons. Of course, these two teams, very familiar in terms of their rivalry, formerly of the Steel Valley Conference, so many wars as members of that conference. Yeah. And of course, located in pretty close proximity to one another in the Falcons. Turnabout is fair play, turnover. And return the favor there. And you said it, these, both of these teams coming in here, obviously respect each other, but they know, you know, being the rival game that they are, you know, want to one-up their opponent. Molesky whips it onto the wing. Holden Lipke. Lipke picks up his dribble. Up top to Hainanen. Hainanen crosses over into the paint. Hainanen feeds it back outside. Ryan thought about the three. Dribbles to the elbow. Off the iron, no good. Coons with the rebound. Back to Ryan, line lane, and we have a whistle. And what? A foul called on Austin Town Fitch. And it'll be tagged to Ryan Sheffield. Both teams right now aggressive. And Borman going through their continuity. Unselfishness. Molesky going to throw one up and knock it down. Molesky drills the triple. And it's 8-6. Falcons. Back on the offensive end of things. Into the hands of Dawkins. Underneath, Beanie fights it up too strong. Rebound, fought for. Ball out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Boardman Spartans. And some of the Boo Birds are out. We can't win. It's either one side or another. Yeah. You know, and I think that was a good call. I mean, they might have been able to call a foul, even if it went off on Boardman. They might have been able to call a foul on that. So again, that's, that's just kind of a call a showstopper. Just keep playing and move on and give it to the, the other squad. Look at Ryan. Great feed underneath. Off the glass and in for Coleman Stuffer. Yeah, and that's one of the things that Ryan does really well. You know, he looks to attack, but also very unselfish, looking for his teammates. That's his second assist already tonight. 10-6 is our score. Emmanuel Dawkins up at the top of the key. They swing it around to Randy Smith, and the ball is out of bounds. And with 3.49 left to play, here in quarter number one, we will take timeout. 10-6 in favor of Boardman. And we'll bring you back after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Team of the Week. From here to there, a lot happens in between as an Austin Town student. Austin Town Local Schools. We are Falcon Strong. Hi, Rob Fellman for Boardman Subaru. Welcome to our newly renovated and expanded facility. Our new showroom and customer waiting areas are second to none. Our new service department allows us to service more cars and everyone gets a complimentary car wash. Our new express service means you never need an appointment for an oil change. Over eight acres of the best inventory anywhere. The all new Boardman Subaru just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. From here to there, a lot happens in between as an Austin Town student. 
Boston Town Local Schools. We are Falcon Strong. And welcome back to Austin Town Fitch High School. 10-6 is our score. 3.49 to play here in the opening quarter. Good crowd on hand here tonight. At the home of the Falcons, it is on to tournament play next week. Of course, these two teams will be in tournament play. Boardman will face off with Louisville in the sectional final. Meanwhile, Fitch will meet the winner of Warren Harding and Kent Roosevelt. And what you like about tournament time, yeah, we look across the way from us and you see Louisville over there getting a scout, trying to figure out what Boardman's all about. Randy Smith found an opening. The ball was stripped free from his grasp. And it'll stay with the Falcons. Emmanuel Dawkins set to trigger it in. It's into Jackson. He's shown some great touch, and that continues as it rattles through. What you like about the big fella, nice soft touch, like you said, gets it up high where you can't get it, but anytime you swat and swing like that, Chad, a lot of times you're going to get a foul call. Speaking of fouls called, Austin Barone is able to draw the foul for Boardman, and he'll head to the free throw line. That'll be the first on Jackson, and it'll be the third team foul, sending Barone one of those Spartan seniors to the free throw line. And he puts it up. He is a 36.4% free throw shooter is Barone. And the free throw is up and good. Pretty good stroke though. They go through the routine and knock him down. We mentioned it off the top the first time these two met. It was a three point contest. Travis Kuntz was the big gun for the Spartans in that ball game. He had 12 points and 9 rebounds to lead Boardman to the victory. This is Dawkins knifing his way in off the glass. Too strong again. And Barone comes down with a rebound for Boardman. Molesky ahead of the pack. Shea Trevina can't handle the hot potato. Out of bounds. It'll go back to Fitch. And you appreciate the look down the floor. As sometimes, you know, you're looking for the touch right there. And Molesky tries to zip it in there with some touch. Little bump, little contact. Turnover, Boardman. Brandon Jackson takes the feed, loses the handle on it. It's tapped out of bounds. But will stay here. Boy, Brandon Jackson for a big guy. Very soft touch. Sometimes when you're a, a big post player like he is, you just want to go in there and bang bodies around underneath. He definitely has good touch, good footwork, and you love to see that as a big guy. Triple try up, no good for Beanie. Jackson ends up with it. Left-handed stroke, that time too soft. But the rebound to Ryan Sheffield of Fitch, and it's back outside to Randy Smith, and the Falcons will set things up again. Boardman with a three-point lead, 11-8, into the hands of Beanie. Beanie to the free throw line, knocks it down! Beanie able to split the defenders, get to that mid-range elbow area, knock down the two to cut the lead to one. 11-10 is our score. Molesky with the ball, picks up his dribble, whips it over to Stoffer. Stoffer feeds it to Kuntz underneath. Kuntz backing in. Kuntz has his pass picked off, but it's rolled out of bounds. Good quickness, good hands for Randy Smith, the Fitch Jr. Randy Smith able to get the deflection just unable to corral it to keep it in play, but shows you just really how quick Randy Smith is. Randy Smith, an outstanding football player as well for the Falcons. He has great speed, and that speed is on display here tonight on the hardwood as well. It really is. Ryan with the ball outside the three-point line. Top of the key, Barone. Barone, one dribble, hands to Molesky. Molesky squirts his way into the paint, puts it in. Molesky with a nice half and go, just enough to freeze the defender and get the layup. The lead back to three for Boardman as we're inside of two minutes left here in quarter number one. Dawkins outside the three-point line up at the top of the key. This is Beanie. Smith looks back at head coach Brian Beanie. Randy Smith stops off the glass. Too strong again. Ryan comes down with the rebound, pushing it up the floor. 
And there's a reach-in foul called on Emmanuel Dawkins. The Fitch Jr. picks up the personal. And it's a good call. It really is. I mean, there's a lot of body right there. I'm not sure what he's upset about. Uh, but that's definitely the correct call. So that is the fourth team foul on Austin Town Fitch as we're inside of 90 seconds left. This is Molesky up front. He has it over to Lipke. Lipke firing three ball. That one off the back edge. No good. And the rebound down to Tyler James of Fitch. Loose ball picked up by Ryan. Ryan scoops underneath Coots. Coots in traffic. Puts it up. And it falls off the rim. And the rebound down to James. Had a lot of good looks there. Ryan found the big fella. Just wasn't able to finish it off. Under a minute now. Fitch up. Or excuse me. Borman up three. Sheffield. Over to Dawkins, off the dribble. Emmanuel Dawkins looking for an open shot. Lightning quick speed for him as well. Underneath Beanie, off front Smith. Firing three ball, up off the rim, no good. Rebound ripped down by the Falcons. Dawkins puts it up. And he's able to draw the contact and the foul. Dawkins, a little feisty right there. Showing the strength. Goes up and get it between multiple Borman defenders. Those are the type of shots, 50-50 balls that you like. And just really getting after it, scrapping, you know, drawing the contact, and getting yourself to the free throw line. Foul is on Koontz, his first. Dawkins is a 72% free throw shooter. And that one falls off. Checking in for Boardman. Mark Smaldino and Shea Trevina. This has been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just what we expected when these two get together to wrap up the regular season. Second free throw is up and good. Cole Constance will come into the game for the first time for Austin Town Fitch. Cole Classic is also in for the Falcons. See if the Spartans We'll hold for the final shot or go right on the attack. Molesky puts it up. I thought he was fouled. Off the miss, Beanie with a rebound. Loose ball on the floor. Beanie picks it up into the corner. Smith thinking about that three ball. He now penetrates. He's cut off. Spins towards that baseline. And he's called for the walk. Did a lot going on right there. I'm not sure Coach Beanie wanted to play that kind of pace. He probably could have had a last shot situation there just really never got the ball under control we're going to see if Boardman is able to finish off this last 18.1 seconds with the final shot so Molesky has the ball as the first quarter clock winds down we're inside of 15 seconds left Trevina with the ball Trevina on the wing nearly has his pocket picked out front, this is Hainanen. Now Molesky firing for three. Off the rim, no good. Smith ends up with it. He fires, and it hits the framing up above the court. And with that, the first quarter is in the books. Eight minutes of basketball played here in Austin Town. We head to the second quarter with your score. Boardman 13, Fitch 11 of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the high school basketball game of the week on my YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. Do you have trouble falling asleep? Do you toss and turn all night or wake up with a sore neck or headache? Then it's time you discovered my pillow. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. Ten years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. Order now to save 30% on a MyPillow Premium. Be sure to use the promo code on your screen. Order a second MyPillow Premium and I'll give you free shipping. Other pillows go flat, causing you to fold them over or use your arm for support, which can cause pain. 
Hard foam pillows can raise your head too high, making you very uncomfortable. But the revolutionary MyPillow has patented fill that won't go flat and keeps your neck supported and aligned to your exact individual need. MyPillow helps you get and stay in deep sleep all night long. Before MyPillow, sleeping was a nightmare. First night I got it, slept like a baby. Just was out, completely out. I sleep better. I wake up, I feel refreshed, I feel healthy. My pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. Call or go online now to order a my pillow premium and Mike will give you 30% off. Buy two my pillow premium pillows and everything ships free. My pillow comes with an unprecedented 60 day money back guarantee. Place your order at mypillow.com or call now to take advantage of 30% savings plus free shipping. Order now. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Ruckus crowd on hand here at Austin Town Fitch High School, all set for the second quarter. It is Boardman with a two-point advantage. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik with you. Fitch opens things up in the second quarter with the basketball. Cole Constance on the wing up at the top of the key. This is Jackson. Brandon Jackson, who's had a solid first half, has his pass picked off. Shea Trevina penetrates into the paint out to Molesky. Off the dribble. And Molesky puts it up and it bounces through. Second time Molesky's able to get to the interior. Finish strong, get the roll. Gives Borman a four-point lead. Just underway in the second quarter. Great take. No good for Blake Baker. Falcons crashing the boards, but it is Coots coming down with it. And he is swarmed upon and fouled. Constance had a pretty good look. Off the offensive rebound, unable to capitalize, put it in. Coots was there to pick up some loose change, grab the rebound. And just the pace right now with Borman, really just controlling the tempo, getting some better shots right now, but Fitch hanging around. Ryan with the ball. Bounce pass underneath into the hands of Lipke. Lipke cut off in no man's land. Somehow scoops it up and in. Use that long arm like a rubber band. He was able to just kind of flip it up there, put it in. It's a nice job. Trevina with a steal. Line, lane, puts it up and in. A little bit of run right now for the Spartans. Brings it to an eight-point lead. Just getting the high percentage shots, getting the layups. Falcons turn the ball over again as Cole Classic is called for the walk or the carry or whatever it was. It's a turnover either way. And it'll go back to Boardman. Spartans at the moment with an eight-point lead, 19-11. And Spartans putting a little run together, little spurt, and this is where, if you're Fitch, you've got to do it. And an offensive foul has been called on Mike Molesky. They say he lowered the shoulder, perhaps, or used his off arm. I didn't see it here. Well, there it is, a little stiff arm, a little forearm, you know, perhaps. That, that's one of those where as long as you don't extend it, you know, normally they, they let you have that right in, in that position, uh, a little chintzy. Bounce pass to Sheffield in the corner. He was almost fouled. Short baseline jumper up, no good. Sheffield cleans it up. Off the front of the rim, no good. Spartans come down to the rebound. Molesky over the time stripe into the forecourt. Molesky outside the three-point line. Nifty ball skills. And Molesky bounce pass underneath Ryan. Back to Molesky. Triple try. Up off the rim, no good. Cleaned up by Lipke. Here's Trevina, and the Spartans will set it up again. Lipke with that outstanding shot. On the scoop earlier, this now is Molesky. He fights it up off the iron, no good. Randy Smith comes down to the rebound for Fitch. Ahead of the pack, this is Sheffield. Loses the ball, and it is out of bounds. Back to Boardman. Fitch just a little out of sorts. Yep. You know, they've, they've done a pretty good job of getting some offensive rebounds, getting some tries with the interior. Just can't capitalize right now. And so you've got to do it defensively, get a few stops get your rhythm back that way because right now you've got Borman last possession they've had two three opportunities and pe feeling pretty confident right now and there's Lipke under great block what a rejection by Dylan Beanie this is Harrington back in there ahead to Randy Smith Smith slicing into the paint cut off at the free throw line this is Dawkins who puts it up and in puts the foul 
Doc is showing you that aggressiveness. Yeah, and feistiness once again. Right from the wing, great pull down, pull through, and just takes it right to the rim, absorbs the contact. Now with the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. Second foul on lip keep. So the team foul situation is this. Four on Boardman, five on Austin Town Fitch. Three-point play is complete. Courtesy of Emmanuel Dawkins. And it's 19-14. In favor of the Spartans, Ryan whips it up ahead of the pack to Hainanen. Firing three ball. He's got it! Hainanen looked very comfortable in stride. Transition three. Made him pay. 22-14 is our score. In favor of Boardman. This is Beanie. Harassed. Out to Smith. Looking for an open look at a triple. And now he brings it back up front. Smith out of the wing. Dawkins. Dawkins defended by Ryan Dawkins. A nifty ball skills of his own. Dawkins takes it baseline. Strong take, too strong. Ball bounces around, ends up in the hands of the Falcons. It's muscled up, no good there. Jump ball called, and the possession arrow points the way of Boardman with 4.34 left here in quarter number two. Quick jump ball, Koontz unable to really get a secure grasp on it. Lost it. As he was trying to pull it through, they get the jump ball. Boardman retains possession. Molesky for the ball for Boardman. And it's back up front. Hananen. Now Molesky and Ryan. Around a screen from Barone. Ryan behind the back out to Molesky. Thought about the three, won't take it. This is Ryan feeding Barone underneath. It's short. Barone crashing the boards. Jump ball called. And the tempers flare in just a bit. That's one of those where you've got to make sure that you keep your composure. You know, the last thing you want to see is some of the after whistle activity. Again, both guys trying to go for the ball. Just kind of a little incidental right there on Dawkins. But those are the ones that kind of stir things up. You've got to play with poise. Hey, that's what a rivalry is all about. Things getting heated here at the home of the Fitch Falcons. It's 22-14. Smith with the ball. Outside the three-point line. Back up to the top of the key. It's Harrington. Harrington right of the lane. Spinning. Putting it up. Shot blocked. Stauffer racing up ahead of the pack. Molesky scoops it up. Whistle. And a foul. With 3.43 left to play. Here in the first half of play. And with that, we will take timeout. 3.43 left to play here in the first half. It's 22-14 in favor of the Boardman Spartans on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Life can be complicated. If you're feeling anxious and depressed and you're ready to take back your life, call us today. Churchill Counseling and our licensed professionals have been helping Valley residents for over 20 years. Take back your life with Churchill Counseling. It's back. Double Auto Show bonus cash. Take up to 25% off MSRP on all 2017 SUVs. Lease to 17 GMC Terrain, only $69 a month. Or lease with zero down, only $185 a month. Or check out the all-new, totally redesigned 17 GMC Acadia for just $148 a month. Auto Show Bonus Cash is back at Sweeney. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. Early psychological testing can be invaluable if you suspect your child has problems with development, attention, learning, behavior, or autism. At Churchill Counseling, we provide testing, diagnosis, and treatment in a caring, trusting, and non-judgmental environment. Every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN. 27 First News. Chad Krasbinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Boardman and Fitz wrapping up the regular season. And then it's time to bust out the brackets next week as we get back to it. It's Boardman at the free throw line. Mike Molesky, who stands 5'9", a gritty player, brings a lot of effort to the floor. He's a 70% free throw shooter. Really sticks his nose in there. 
He's two for three from the line tonight. And Molesky trying to make this a 10-point Boardman lead. And he misses. Off that miss, Fitch comes up with the rebound. Randy Smith. And right now, Fitch really has to have a good possession. And they got a nice rebound there from Beanie. Gets it up, puts it in. Gets the bucket. Dylan Beanie, great effort, puts it up and in. And he'll have an opportunity to complete the three-point play as the Spartans will bring back a couple of their front liners in Holden Lipke and also in the big guy, Travis Kuntz. But you gotta love what you see from the junior Dylan Beanie. He, again, is not afraid to stick his nose in there as Smith goes to the free throw line. And it's 23-16 at the moment. Beanie is two for two from the stripe. Spartan faithful starting to make some noise. And he rattles the free throw in. Three-point play complete. It's a six-point advantage for Boardman. And those are the type of plays. You know, you got the transition three. You didn't make it. But Beanie was there to pick up the loose change, stop the run, you know, and, and really kind of give you a little bit of momentum where you could try to cut into this lead. 3.20 left to play until halftime. Ryan out to Molesky into the hands of Stoffer. This is Lipke giving to Molesky. Racing up off the rim, no good. For the rebound to Tyler James of Fitch. Ahead to Dawkins. Dawkins has really been impressive here in this first half. Giving to Cole Classic. Classic up top. Whips it over outside to Beanie. Beanie hands it back to Dawkins. Dawkins off the dribble into the paint. Dawkins puts it up and in. Right on call. Dawkins attacking the glass, getting to the rim, cutting into the lead. 2.40 left until halftime. Ryan with the ball. Outside the three-point line. He whips it up to Lipke. Firing three ball off the rim. No good. It's cleaned up off the glass and in by Stauffer. Plus the foul. Stauffer, right place, right time. Now Lipke gets the three. Used to seeing that lefty smooth stroke drop it. But that's where Borman's been pretty successful too, getting that second, third opportunity. They get the put back. Now with the opportunity for the three-point play. Great awareness for Coleman Stoffer as Randy Smith makes his return for Fitch. Stoffer trying to add to that point total. And he does. He'll sit down. Shea Trevina is back in for Boardman. And right now, he fits with just a little bit of token pressure. Or excuse me, Boardman. And trying to change up the pace a little bit. And you always like to, with Coach Burst, you know, you don't want to keep Fitch a little bit off balance and make a couple buckets. You see him always changing it up a little bit. Into the corner in rhythm. Three ball up and good for Sheffield. But Fitch unwilling to go away. Cuts it to five. Another good opportunity right there. Penetrate. Pitch for the wide open three. The lead is four for Boardman. They give it to Kuntz at the elbow. Into the hands of Lipke. Lipke penetrates. Out to Ryan. Three ball in the air. Way off the mark. And the rebound down to the Fitch Falcons. It's Dawkins. Racing up the floor at Sheffield. Into the corner, James. Back to Sheffield, who just hit a huge three. This is Dawkins off the dribble. Now pulls it back out. Heads towards the baseline. Here's James. Outside, it's Beanie. Into the paint. Stops, spins, scoops, puts it up off the rim. It's no good, but he's going to go to the free throw line. Great patience not to force it. Try to find that little extra opening, does Beanie. And he almost got that one to roll in. You, know, very, you don't see it often. You know, you're playing against Kutz, a bigger guy. You know, you see the up and under, the footwork, buying his time just to try to get Kutz in the air or get him where he can, you know, get him with the body and then get himself to the free throw line. Been very effective. Three for three tonight. And the kibosh, three for four. So Beanie will try to split the pair. He has seven points at this point. We're down to a buck 28 left until halftime. Beanie trying to drop Fitch. 
to within three, and he does. He has eight points. You know, give Fitch a lot of credit. They've made a couple shots, made a couple plays, but on Boardman's end, they've had a couple loose shots, a couple loose possessions. Now, this is their opportunity to not relinquish this lead. You'll see if they take some high priority on this next possession. Molesky with the ball over to Trevina. On the right side, Trevina penetrates and is fouled. And the reach in is called against Cole Classic. And you can see right now that's that way too much hands. That's an easy call for the officials. Shea going to head to the line. Team foul number eight on Fitch. Trevina, 63.6. Percent free throw shooter. That one's good. He's one for one. And it's a four point lead for Boardman at 27 23 with 111 left as you're going to look at Falcons head coach Brian Beanie. Trevina, good again. Five point lead you know, for Boardman. What you like about Coach Beanie, like you said before, he's brought some stability back to Fitch. You know, he, he's, these guys understand the system. They understand what he's looking for, you know, and, and they love playing for him. Three ball in the air for Tyler James off the side of the backboard. Molesky comes up with the rebound for Boardman. Ryan now has it. Bounce pass Molesky up off the glass. No good. He will go to the free throw line. And Molesky showing you how to take it to the hole. Coach Beanie talking about the last shot. Uh, really didn't appreciate that lot. last shot selection. But just shows you Mol Molesky's going to get himself to the free throw line. And he's always very effective getting there and attacking the rim. That's the third foul on Ryan Sheffield. Molesky trying to reach double figures. He won't do it there. So sitting down is Sheffield, checking in is that young man, Cole Constance, also heading back into the ball game. Somebody with a pretty good start for Fitch, and that is 6'5'' senior Brandon Jackson. Molesky trying to split the pair. Ready, aim, fire, good. He is 10. Barone comes back in for Boardman. Sitting down is Hainanen. 54.2 left. Another opportunity for Fitch to cut into this lead. Again, it was nine at one point. And again, nine right now. So opportunity to get into this. Dawkins off the dribble yeah. and was able to draw the foul. And that will be tagged to Austin Barone. And it's going to send Dawkins to the free throw line. So one number 11 fouls another. Six points at this point for Emmanuel Dawkins. And Dawkins now has seven. Dawkins three for four and a 72% free throw shooter. So again, gets the line and gets his money's worth. The lead is five for Boardman. The next free throw is perfect as well. And it's 29-25. And we'll see what Coach Birch has in store. Whether he'll be aggressive here, hold for the final shot. Looks like he'll be aggressive. Into the corner. Stoffer for three. Up no good. Off the miss. Rebound. Comes down to Dawkins of Fitch. 26 seconds left. See if the Falcons can draw ever closer. Up at the top of the key, it's classic. And a timeout has been taken by the Austin Town Fitch Falcons with 21.3 seconds left here in the first half. It is a four-point Boardman lead. And it looked for a moment like the Spartans were going to take control. They got a nice lead. However, you've got to give Coach Beanie's Falcons a heck of a lot of credit because this group despite what the record is, is showing us the grit, determination, and fight that they have. Yeah, they continue to battle you know, with Dawkins looking, look, looking to take it, looking to attack. Uh, Boardman with a couple of loose shots, though. Tonight's high school basketball game of the week is being streamed live at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. Download that WKBN app to watch our games all season long, and you'll also find high school scores, stories, and highlights. Download the WKBN mobile app today.
came in very handy last week. Yeah, Tuesday night. Or Tuesday, excuse me. Lots of folks were tuned into that classic game between two of the best teams in the area, of course. 29-25, ball in the hands of Randy Smith. Off the dribble. This is Dawkins. Dawkins thinking about that three. Dawkins firing, fade away, triple. Somehow he got it to drop in, and that's the way the first half will end. It's not exactly how Coach Beanie drew it up, but it still counts. Coach Beanie just walked by our table. He had a little smirk. This one ends with a bang at the end of the first half. Fancy foot skills for Emmanuel Dawkins. We've reached halftime. It's a one-point ball game on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. From here to there. A lot happens in between as an Austin Town student. Austin Town Local Schools, we are Falcon Strong. Before you do any home improvements, visit the 66th Annual HBA Home and Garden Show, presented by Duncan's Bath and Kitchen Center and Cambria, February 24th through the 26th at Mr. Anthony's. You'll find beautifully landscaped outdoor living displays, new ideas and products for home remodeling, plus contractors ready to help. Whether you do it yourself or hire an HBA contractor, you'll find everything you need at the HBA Home and Garden Show, February 24th through the 26th at Mr. Anthony's in Boardman. Admission is free. Hi, Rob Fellman for Boardman Subaru. Welcome to our newly renovated and expanded facility. Our new showroom and customer waiting areas are second to none. Our new service department allows us to service more cars and everyone gets a complimentary car wash. Our new express service means you never need an appointment for an oil change. Over eight acres of the best inventory anywhere. The all new Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. They excel in everything they do. The hardest workers, they are the student athletes of the week. Austin Town Fitch senior Natalie Lynn is an all-conference player averaging 10 points and 6 rebounds per game. She also carries a 3.85 GPA. Every Thursday at 6, WYTV brings you the week's student athlete. Plus, see them all at WYTV.com. Student Athlete of the Week is sponsored by the DeBartlo Corporation. From here to there, a lot happens in between as an Austin Town student. Austin Town Local Schools, we are Falcon Strong. And welcome back to Austin Town Fitch High School, where we saw a very entertaining first half of play. But as Boardman with a one-point lead, 29 to 28, as this Falcon crowd and Spartan crowd entertained by those young ladies from Austin Town Pitch. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski alongside Will Klusenik. And boy, it looked for a moment like Boardman was going to kind of pull away and then Austin Town Pitch Falcons say, uh-uh, that's not going to happen. You know, Boardman really did a nice job early on getting some high percentage shots, controlling the tempo, and, and really getting what they wanted. However, Fitch does a great job of just hanging around, bangs a couple of threes. You know, Dawkins does a great job of finishing uh, a, a pretty good quarter off for them and only down one. A lot of coaches say, and it is a cliche, you can throw out the records and these two teams having two very different seasons in terms of overall records, but you never know it with what we're watching here tonight. It's been quite a battle. Should be a fun second half. It's a one-point lead for Boardman. When we come back, we'll break down the first half. We'll bring you back to the home of the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. After these words, you're watching the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard.
physical, aquatic, occupational, and speech therapy. All at one facility, all working to get you better. After my knee replacement, Atlas helped me get back to playing with my grandchildren. I got great results at Atlas after my work injury, and I was able to return to work feeling better than I did before. Thanks to Atlas, my search for lymphedema therapy is over. After my surgery, I was unable to drive. Atlas picked me up for my therapy appointment. Atlas Rehab and Wellness Center, we put your world on our shoulders. Introducing for 2017, the Preston Advantage from Preston Toyota of Boardman. Purchase a new vehicle from Preston Toyota and receive a free lifetime engine warranty, free oil changes, free loaner vehicles and car washes for service, and our three-day return and exchange policy. Drive with 0% financing on 12 of our hottest models or lease a 2017 RAV4 for $199 a month. Plus, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. The Preston Advantage from Preston Toyota of Boardman. Who let these dogs out? KB's, that's who. At KB's Dog House, they're serving with style. Every all beef hop dog is grilled and seasoned to its best. Check out KB's trained dogs. Or how about KB's Classic? Combo any dog with a small order of fries and a drink for only $2. Tuesday's chili dog is just 99 cents. On Fridays, buy any one third pound burger, get a free fry or drink. Your choice. KB's Dog House, 2838 Mahoney Avenue, Youngstown. For hot dogs with style. White Line Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, White Line, West Liberty Street, Girard. Welcome back live to Austin Town Fitch High School. Where a pair of former Steel Valley Conference foes are facing off at a good one in the regular season finale. It's Boardman with a one-point lead. 29 to 28. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prospinski alongside Will Klusenik, and back and forth these two teams went. It's that momentum, and boy, you want to head into tournament play with some momentum, and a win here tonight will certainly help the cause. Yeah, it definitely helps the cause. You know, if you're looking at Fitch, you haven't had the record, like you said, that you wanted to, but you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell, and you look at these graphics right now, you know, Fitch not shooting particularly well. But you can see they're willing to hang around, and they're doing it at the free throw line right now, being a very effective shooting 80% from the foul line. And it's not the frontliners necessarily that are getting it done for the Falcons. One guy off the bench that really impressed us was Emmanuel Dawkins, who really electrified the crowd. He put that one up and in, and he had a really strong first half of play. As we take a look at some of our miscellaneous numbers, the rebounding edge goes to the Falcons, so they're really getting after it. 17 to 10, what else stands out to you there? You know, the big thing, like you said, is the rebounds, you know, and, and they were able to continue to pick it up and not get down on themselves and cut into that nine-point lead that Borman had, uh, only to have a one-point deficit at half. The Spartans certainly got a, a great deal of contribution from some folks, and they got it done from the outside. Mike Molesky splashes this one in from deep. He had a strong first half outside as well as inside. Outside and inside. You know, usually Molesky's the catalyst, but you can see right there, Dawkins also led the Fitch Falcons off of the bench with eight points, four rebounds. Two pretty big first halves for each of those guys. It all adds up to a one-point lead for the Boardman Spartans. We'll have the third quarter when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week.